Hi there, folks around these parts call me Fallout, and today we're going to talk about the season of Dawn changes made to Hunters. You know, those uh, skinny looking dudes who in PvP are either rolling around corners or jumping away from engagements. If you missed my video on the Titan changes, the link is down below in the video description, along with the link to the patch notes so you can read along with me. Or you can just listen and watch, because reading is for nerds. While most of the Hunter changes focused on the Gunslinger trees, there were some changes made to the way of the Pathfinder on the Night Stalker class, and by some I mean one. They updated the perk Vanish in Smoke, which comes into play when you chuck a smoke nade onto either yourself or an ally to make them invisible. You see, before the patch, it was really easy for you to cloak a teammate but have them F it up by accident because maybe they were in a gunfight and didn't realize you were about to help them out with a surprise trip to the Shadow Realm. You'd cloak them, but maybe they would already be mid-shot, and then boom, just like that, they've already ruined their free invisibility. With this new update, you hit him with the Vanish and Smoke, and now you have a 3.8 second window where if you're already firing your gun, you won't break invisibility right away. Kinda neat, but I'd still sooner pour a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue Label down the drain than randomly spend a smoke nade on a random blueberry in PvP rather than on myself. Just saying. Anywho, let's move on to the changes made to the Gunslinger, starting off with the Way of the Outlaw, aka Top Tree. First on the menu are the changes made to the Throwing Knife, which still has the ability to explode, but now it's like a knife and a trip mine had a baby together. You can stick it to walls, floors, doors, any surface at all, and it will stick there for 14 seconds or until an enemy guardian walks into it or even kinda near it. The blast radius on the trip mine knife is kinda wonky. If a guardian runs right through it and gets hit with the very dead center of the explosion, it'll do good damage. Not enough to one shot, but again, good damage. However, if your enemy is for whatever reason moving slowly and just kind of vaguely strolls into the area of the knife, it'll blow up for pitifully bad damage. I don't know how often that's gonna happen in PvP though. There could be some enemies accidentally triggering the knife without taking full on damage of the blast, but I guess we'll see. The fuse time is 14 seconds, which not bad. For comparison, the Hunter Trip Mine by default is only about 10-ish seconds, so pretty good if you compare it to that. I kinda like this new Explody Knife. Even though it rewards tricksy defensive play instead of offensive play, I'm kind of a lazy person in general, so I'm a fan of the set it and forget it playstyle. Next we move on to the Six Shooter Golden Gun, and I'm sorry to say, yeah, this one is just a straight up nerf. You see, Bungie wanted to cut back on the damage fall off for the Six Shooter Goldie because by design, it's supposed to be like a quick draw, shoot him from the hip, mid to close range kind of BS, and I don't know if you know this, but pre-season of Dawn, you could literally be over 120 some odd meters away from your enemy and one tap them with a bullet from your six shot Goldie. Dear God. Now, you definitely have to activate and perform at mid range. The damage fall off starts at 30 meters when firing from the hip and about 40 meters when in ADS. And for the record, yeah. If you get too far away from your enemy, one Goldie shot will severely inconvenience your enemy instead of kill them. Let's move on to Way of the Sharpshooter, aka the Bottom Tree Gunslinger. Starting off, we have the highly anticipated and tremendously meme ability Weighted Knife. This ain't your regular throwing knife, boys. It's thick. The base damage was improved and the precision modifier was kicked up a notch. What's it all add up to? If you hit somebody in the head with this sucker in PvP, well that's a one hit kill. As you can imagine, this is extremely satisfying. You know that feeling you get when you pee Peel plastic off of brand new electronics. Yeah, this weighted knife makes that feel like pulling off a band-aid. The range on that knife is also damned impressive. Of course, there's travel time on the knife. It's not hit scan because that would be crazy. And it also has a little bit of aim assist. I thought that the wind-up time on the knife would be really long to justify such a powerful one-tap mechanic, but no. It's not only faster than I thought, but it's actually flashy as hell too. I'm already tasting the tears of the non-hunter mains out there who are probably freaking out because this ability is so damn strong. Let's be clear though, it's strong, but oh so easy to F up. At least with Titan's shoulder charging auto locks on if you're close enough and warlocks have handheld supernova, which is so, so, so much easier to land one hit kills with than this knife. The weighted knife is awesome, but it's essentially the siren's call. As I'll probably show you towards the end of this video, it's what we like to call a double-edged sword. Yeah, when you land it in-game, you were gonna feel really good about yourself. But oh man, 
when you miss. And believe me, you will miss. While trying to hunt down weighted knife clips, I got myself into so many bad situations where I would have been 10 times better off just firing my gun like a normal person. But I gotta be honest, I uh, couldn't help myself. I was just so thirsty for the knife. Anyway, I'm sure as time goes on, people including me will very much learn how to play in a way that combines the perfect amount of both shooting people and throwing heavy knives into people's faces. You gotta find that perfect balance. Until that happens though, be warned. The weighted knife is a significant other who is super, super hot, but also openly crazy. It's not gonna work out perfectly for everyone, and some of you are going to get yourselves in trouble. Oh, and uh, the knife also bounces, which I guess is nice in the event that you miss or short it by mistake and luckily hit someone you didn't intend to. But if you're out there trying to bounce throwing knife people on purpose, I'm about 90% sure that means you're probably a serial killer in the making, just like people who pour milk before cereal. Let's move on. The perk Crowd Pleaser has been 86 and effectively absorbed by Line em Up, so you can still get a three-shot golden gun capable of getting headshots. Always a great way to counter roaming supers in PvP, because a Goldie headshot is strong enough to put down even a camo spectral blade in Crucible, not too shabby. Precision hit also increase damage, which is cool, but more of a PvE thing. But in addition to that, they also extend the duration of Golden Gun, which is hard to complain about, unless you aren't a hunter. While we're on the subject of Golden Gun, it's important to take note that the three-shot Goldie had its base auto-aim distance and overall reliability bumped up when aiming down sight. It's sort of hard to measure aim assist without any kind of data mining, which I am not a data miner. But with before and after footage both pre- and post-season of Dawn Patch, I can tell you that the three-shot Goldie now definitely feels a little stickier when strafing by an enemy in ADS. Moving on to the last two reworked perks, Practice Makes Perfect and the brand new Knock em Down, both which focus on the importance of landing headshots. For the Practice Makes Perfect, it's pretty straightforward. Every precision hit you get will activate one stack of Practice Makes Perfect, which when activated reduces the cooldown of your Golden Gun. How it's changed since pre-dawn? Well, the super energy you get from the perk itself was reduced by 16%, but overall the duration was increased by 50% overall, and getting a precision kill rather than a hit will give you two stacks instead of just one. So you get a little bit less energy, but it lasts more overall. Finally, we have the brand new perk, Knock em Down, where Practice Makes Perfect helps out with your super game, Knock em Down helps out with your neutral game. Precision kills, not hits, give you both better weapon stability and better handling. Also, your golden gun does more damage if you cast it while knock em down is active with 20 or more seconds remaining on the timer. That is kind of hard to pull off in PvP because each kill gives you about 10 seconds. So really, you need to kill three people in Crucible before being able to pull out your extra damage golden gun, which is already pretty damn powerful in PvP. It definitely strikes me as more of a PvE perk, which is fine. Who wouldn't want more damage on their Goldie in PvE. For Crucible, Knock em Down is probably going to be mostly for the neutral game benefits, aka bumping up your stability and weapon ADS speed. Which, I gotta say, the buffs are actually pretty generous. And that's pretty much it, Hunter changes in a nutshell. By far and away, I feel that the bottom tree got the most interesting and fun changes to the point where I actually want to be a gunslinger in PvP for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and let some clips roll of me playing gunslinger, mostly bottom tree in PvP. Hopefully, this gives you more of a feel of how the newly reworked hunter class plays. I won't lie to you, a lot of the clips are me desperately trying to get one hit kill knives. So, enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, it may not be the curated Twilight, but it still works. Oh, boom. Oh, dude, don't push me, please. Oh, yes. There's gotta be somebody in here. Ooh, yes. Ooh, definitely someone. All right. Who wants it? Oh, oh, there's so many more of you. No, he charged over the knife. Please die. Damn it. Oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Up. Oh. <laughs> Best anti-super in the game. I'm going to start doing that now. Every time I hit someone with a knife, I'm going to call out the yeet. Hopefully I only land my call to yeet. Oh, yeet. <laughs> See, it works. If you call it out, it works.
You know, if we had more friggin' territories under our belt, this wouldn't be that bad of a game to show in full. Oh, oh from downtown. Oh, that was a deep one. And what are you gonna do? Oh, did you just spawn here? Oh, please let me get you. Oh. Uh, you know what? I deserve that. Ooh, I'm locked in, baby. Locked in right now. And I got two knives raring to go, buddy. Two knives. Oh, gosh. Really with the goalie? Oh, do, oh wait. Hold on. Oh, yes. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Do what you will. I've already won. Yo, how is this game going One to go to time? Left. What is happening right now? Uh, yes. Oh, dude. Back to back right now. Wait for it. Can't dodge, it's cheating, bro. You have Boom, there it is. Like uh, hello? Oh, the uh, okay, yeah, game. <laughs> well I will take that to close the game.